Hi, crafty friends. I cannot wait to share with you guys how I aged or distressed um, that little metal bunny. I got that off of one of the Dollar Tree signs a while back. I had taken it off to do something else and I had saved it. So I thought, ooh, let's see what we can do with it. So I'm going to use this as my um, kind of my background, this little wood piece here. Um, so I just painted it up, set it aside. And now what I'm going to do is this is kind of like that shiny galvanized look. And I'm just using some sandpaper just to kind kind of uh, just kind of roughen up a little bit so that what we start to do will adhere. So first I started out with, I did two layers of this. I spray adhesived, I spray, I used the spray adhesive. <laughs> and then while that was still wet, I sprinkled some coffee grounds into it and just kind of kept working that um, just, I was really like kind of almost grinding it up in my fingers, really powdery in some areas. Um, and then once I did that, I put another coat of the spray adhesive over the top. And then once that was dry, I did that again um, because I was just really trying to get that to be my base layer because we are going to um, do something on top. So while that was finishing up drying, I went ahead and grabbed that board that it was dry and just used um, my ink pad to really darken the edges. I didn't want any of the raw wood to show through. I thought I did, but then I changed my mind um, because what we're going to do is we're going to use that burlap um, to kind of go over this board um, and then just kind of fray the edges. So what I'm doing is I'm just cutting off that little sewn edge there and then we'll just adhere that onto the board itself. Um, I went ahead and grabbed out some of these like, oh gosh, these big tacks that I have. Um, you could use, you know, little um, thumbtacks or whatever you have um, and we'll put those on there kind of looking like it's holding it down. Um, but that part is totally up to you if you do try this. Um, so they're kind of super shiny bright and I don't want that. So what I decided to do is I grabbed out um, my bronze colored, um, uh, oh gosh, Sharpie, there's the word, and just kind of, you know, sharpied all over the top of them just to kind of give them a little bit more of a distressed look, not so shiny and bright. So you can see the little bunny is starting to really dry up there. So what I did was I grabbed out some of my terracotta paint. Now, if you don't have terracotta, just use regular old chalk paint and add a little baking soda to it. And I just started dabbing it on. You guys, I'm obsessed with old school ceiling tiles that have like layers and layers of paint, but kind of had the distressing coming, you know, the rust coming kind of distressing coming through. So that's what I was trying to do here. And oh, my friends, look how cute this is. I'm so excited for this. I think it turned out awesome. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to follow the page for more crafts. Thanks, friends.